Hey, what's up with it? What's up with it, man? Yeah. But say, check this out. Check this out, right? Uh, first of all, I need everybody to do me a big one, man. Before we even get started on this thing, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, sure. Let's keep this thing pushing, you hear me? I'm talking about I need y'all to go hit that like button, man. I need y'all to subscribe, sure. I need y'all to go and understand that in order for us, to keep on pushing out this ma uh, this 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 message for us to keep on doing what we're doing. Uh, we need the people, man. We need the people to be able to stand by us so we can continue to go on our journey to being successful, homie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so with that being said, hit the like button, man. A lot of people, it's been so much speculation. Everybody want to speculate. <laughs> You know, they, they, everybody want to speculate. So, my thing is this here. There's no need to speculate. People may want to hear what I got to say. Well, I'm going to say this. When you the chosen one, your eyes got to always be cocked to both sides. And you, you got to always be paying attention at all times. Because when you're chosen one, you got to understand that it's somebody that's going to be sitting in that corner and they're going to have a frown on their face. You don't have time to worry about why he got a frown on his face. You have no time to worry about why they got a frown on their face. You have no time for that. You hear me? But I'm going to say this. The only way you can stop this movement is if we stop it. But I want y'all to pay attention to this, right? Y'all saw it, but I want y'all to pay attention to this, all right? Now watch this. Good afternoon, it's your girl comedian Nicole Bunch with an update on Aubrey Jones. Now, as some of you may know, he ran up on Charleston White yesterday at the Tommy's restaurant in Hampton, Virginia, claiming that Charleston was a sellout, that he disrespected Black Lives Matter. Now, mind you, he is affiliate, he's an affiliate of Black Lives Matter 757, not the actual Black Lives Matter. Hold on a second, I have footage. A bunch of gay bitches. What? A bunch of gay bitches running. You look like it. How you? Now, in that video, we noticed that Mr. Jones stated that uh, Charleston White was a sellout and that he was, in fact, in Aubrey's hood. Um, I beg to differ because I'm not sure which hood he comes from, but I digress. But what bothered me the most was him stating that Charleston White was a sellout and he was not for the cause. Aubrey, I find that kind of conflicting because I don't think you're for the cause either. Um, I think you're stealing from the cause and I have proof. Here's my proof. Now, as you can see here, I have several statements from people who claim that Aubrey not only is not for the cause, but have been taking donations that's been for supplies, product and merchandise and has been pocketing it for himself. And I also found on your resume that you antagonized several city officials, including police officers and anyone that you can to get the clout that you're chasing. I don't even think you were welcome in the hood. Now, if Virginia Beach Police Department gave you such a problem, why do you go over there and protest so much? Sounds like antagonizing. In fact, I actually found out in high school you were actually gothic. You didn't hang with hood participants at all, sir. So to wrap this thing up, Aubrey, we know that you're clout chasing. We don't know why or what clout you're chasing, but we know there's some clout that you're chasing and it's getting old. It's getting sickening and it's getting tiring. You're going viral for us laughing at you and it's starting to be not funny anymore. Get a life, Aubrey Jones. You are a jackass. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh people can really sit down and look at that video and understand the video. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I sit there in the at the spot where, you know, we were just minding our business. Uh, we was minding our business, leaving everybody else's business alone. But in the process of us minding our business, leaving everybody's business alone, uh, as he approached, he approached with wanting to get an interview. I hate to tell you or anybody else, there's no such thing as a free interview. I don't care who you are, what you are, it doesn't matter. We have built our platform up to where, hey man, it's a fee for us to get on platforms. Why would we get on a platform to make a platform money, but we don't make nothing? It don't make sense. We do better off getting on our own platform. That's the reason why we building our platform from the game related podcast. You know what I'm saying? To uh, the official Charleston White page, to the Anthony Dewberry page, to the uh, real life prison store, to all the things that we have done to be able to put ourselves in a position to do. Now, as you approached our table, homie, you he approached our table on some, can I get an interview? He had no, he didn't approach our table with no, uh, like he was about that action. He had two phones in his hand, y'all. Two, one her and one her. And he wanted to talk. But once he was told, there was no talking. He wanted to make a scene so he can go viral. It's called cloud chasing, homie. But the best thing about cloud chasing is it might not go like you think it's going to go. But I'm just happy that, you know, we professionals, we handle our business accordingly. We do what we supposed to do, we and we do it the right way. We're not out here trying to be toughies. We're not out here trying to be nothing. We out here doing what we supposed to do. But at the same time, we letting it be known, hey, buddy, this is what we own. So when he came up there, very, you know what I'm saying, uh, out of control and really out of line because you just don't put no camera in nobody, in nobody's face, man. You just don't do that, homie. You don't do that. We don't even know you. Why would you do that? Just think about that. So you was really on a mission for Clout. You was really on a mission just to say, ooh, ooh, I saw Charles. Ooh, I saw him. I saw him. Ooh, ooh. That's what you was on. You was on a mission to say, ooh, I saw him. Ooh, ooh, I said this to him. Yeah, I told y'all I'm the man. That's how you sounded, man. You sounded real feminine, homie. I did it, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, I did this. Come on, homie. What happened to a person telling you, man, I don't want to talk to you. Hey, all right, then that's a bit. If a person don't want to talk to me, I'm not going to sit there and force my hand to go and talk to a person. That means that I must go about my business. And however I feel, I'm going to go on my platform and I'll go on there and say how I felt. Now, the lady that you was with, she kind of felt bad. She kind of felt bad. But in the process of her feeling bad, she's sitting here watching you as you perform, and she's not saying a word because you want the attention. And by the way, they pay for our food too. Thank you. So, 
I don't know what kind of point you were trying to get across. I'm hoping that you got your point across, but it's not going to stop our movement. It's not going to stop the progress that we making on a consistent basis. It's not. You just somebody that can say, ooh, I took, ooh, I saw him. You really a fan. You really a fan, man. You really a fan. Just think about it. <laughs> and I'm hoping that you really got what you were looking for. And if you got what you were looking for, man, guess what? We done turned somebody else on. We done put somebody else in a position to where they can get some limelight. Now, you might get a couple of calls for interviews. You never know. But that's the power that's being possessed in the words that we continue to drop on the ground. So with that being said, if you think you did a good job, but until then, hmm, we still rising and you stay down. <laughs>